Staying dry underwater defies one of our most basic perceptions of liquids and our interactions with them. When we touch water, we expect to become wet, but this need not be the case. It turns out that nature has already solved this problem. Others have observed underwater bugs that are capable of staying dry while swimming. These bugs have tiny hairs with micro and nanoscale spacing between them. A multinational team of researchers led by Northwestern University are challenging this notion with non-wetting immersed surfaces. We call these surfaces superhydrophobic as they do not like interacting with water. The researchers have demonstrated surfaces that remain dry underwater, as well as a critical roughness scale for which this method is possible, using the thermodynamics of phase change. If we look at these types of surfaces under a scanning electron microscope, which is a high-powered microscope, we observe the following. We placed a few of these surfaces underwater, sucked out the dissolved air from the liquid, froze the system with nitrogen gas, and then cut the surface in half to obtain images of water near the surfaces. The surface with nanoscale roughness spacing remained dry underwater, while the surfaces with micron size texture became wet. How is this possible? This non-wetting ability for superhydrophobic surfaces has traditionally been thought to rely upon trapped air within the roughness grooves of the surface. If the ambient liquid is well saturated with air, the surface will remain dry and all is well. However, if the liquid is undersaturated, meaning there is a limited amount of air that has dissolved within the liquid, the surface will wet. Rather than relying upon air, the researchers use metastable vapor to maintain dry, submerged surfaces. There is a critical roughness spacing for which this method will work. At atmospheric conditions, it is less than one millionth of a meter or what we refer to as one micron. Recall, the underwater bugs had hair spacing less than a micron as well. This idea for a critical roughness spacing has been supported through molecular dynamic simulations of a non-wetting surface. Here, we take a surface, add water on top of the surface, and then pressurize it with a piston. If we study a single pore, we are able to see that it remains dry even when it should become wet. Why is this significant? Gas within roughness grooves could help reduce drag on submarines. It is difficult to keep air within roughness grooves at large water depths, as it will dissolve into the ambient liquid. However, vapor can persist despite this. Superhydrophobic surfaces can also be used to help initiate nucleate boiling. There is also potential for anti-fouling capabilities on ships. Ships with minimal liquid contact reduce their interaction with marine life. Our contribution is the scientific basis for how nanoscale roughness can be used to sustain dry, submerged surfaces. Support for this is shown using molecular dynamic simulations, nanoscale imaging, degassing experiments, and others' observations of underwater bugs. For details about our finding, feel free to find our paper in the journal Scientific Reports.